Okay guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to look at the Browning Outdoorsman Shovel. Uh, pretty much an e-tool. Uh, the difference between this and a regular e-tool is the blade folds, but the handle stays in place. So it's a little bigger, it's a little bulkier. The other thing is this has a D-handle, which some people might like and some people not. It's a little cold out here. I don't know, warm my body up a little bit so I'm just going to start digging right away and then throughout the video I'll talk about things I like and I don't like about this shovel. So the first thing right off the bat, if you already watched my Glock e-tool review, using it as a pick or a hoe, this is a lot less efficient. You can use it one-handed and grip right here. If you use it two-handed, oh, hmm. come in for a close-up real quick. I don't know. If there's already a crack on this locking collar. Not really, you can see it. So there's a small hairline fracture. And I don't know if this is only plastic or plastic and metal on the inside, but this is already cracked. I mentioned it's cold out here, but it's not ungodly cold. It's like 20 some degrees. And this is actually kind of warm to the touch. So we'll keep using it and see what happens there. One thing I really like about it is it is really easy to unscrew and adjust. And we'll see how, we'll see if it stays tight or if it loosens up. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Doing some pretty easy digging. Actually a lot less extreme than I was with the Glock. And this is the first time I've used this. And it broke right there. So uh, that video was a lot shorter than anticipated. I'll return this to the company. Uh, the company is Browning and I bought it on uh, MidwayUSA.com. So I might contact Midway and or the manufacturer. Okay, so this really high strength durable shovel, it lasted, I believe about five minutes of use. So depending on your usage and how much you're going to be using it, that might be long enough or that might not be strong enough for you. Um, even though it did break, there's a lot of features I do kind of like about it. It has a serrated edge right here for root cutting. I actually sharpened, I kind of put serrations on here, a lot of people put a sharp knife edge. Uh, that's kind of silly in my opinion because with serrations you're increasing surface area and it's more conducive to like cutting through roots. Um, it has a traditional bowl of a standard shovel and it's only two position. So this is a standard position. and. the whole position. So just some observations looking at this. This is like a $18 shovel. So like on the scale, it's not super expensive. And I wasn't expecting it to be super bomb proof, um, but I was thinking it would be a lot more durable than this because it had the fixed handle and not a lot of components. But as you can see, if all they would have done is this collar would have been metal or aluminum or steel lined with a polymer outer or just a thicker plastic, 
um, this would have lasted a lot longer. But luckily it's pretty cold out here and just standing in place filming you get pretty chilly. So this video actually ended up being a lot shorter and easier to film than I expected. So overall I wouldn't really recommend this shovel. Um, again this is the first time I used it and this is a sample size of one and it's kind of chilly out here. But the fact that it broke so easily I'm guessing it's more of an engineering flaw and it's not that I got a lemon. So hopefully you guys like this video. Maybe you wanted to buy this and you watched this video and it disappointed you. Uh, you can still go out and buy it if you really, really want it. But I'm going to guess that if you actually do use it, it's going to break right away. Kind of the primary reason I wanted to buy this one is, at least on YouTube and online, there was like zero reviews of this. And I think this negative review of it is kind of beneficial because now hopefully a lot less people waste their money or go out and buy it and then have to return it because that's always a hassle. So, like always, go back to my homepage, watch some of my current videos. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe.